Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer Chaos Bane where we will strictly go on of course with our main quest but well guys what else shall we do this is a game where you only so to say have one quest available but come to think about it it is the same in Inquisitor Martyr so it is not the weirdest thing available in games known to mankind so to say let's just walk through here we do a little jump here doing a ton load of amazing damage love that always all the time when we do that going to take a little bit of health with me i don't know through the immense cooldown of health portions um, we can i don't know the exact seconds right here but we can take a quick look at it um, of 28 seconds and um, <laughs> what you might think in a boss fight of course that is very very intense it's a huge amount of time in a boss fight I think so there it might be a little bit too high so I try to conserve them as long as possible and I as you see that's just my place I try to do that in the normal gameplay here as well so take that with me and we so to say only have one um, symbol of slanish available to steal in the end what I'm a little sad about is that we obviously will be here in that setting which looks absolutely nice but that is going to be the setting for the last or for the next couple of episode, episodes guys that we can already sadly enough get used to So that one's done. At least we are right now level 29, which I like, I have to say. So now we have, of course, lifted the forest that I would like um, to be integrated or um, that I would have liked as a design choice. Overall, um, I would have liked that the instant teleporting out of the map um, via whatever <laughs> I would have enjoyed um, immensely still taking all the good jazz with me down 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 killing all of those guys off a little bit of gold even just 125 there but well much much appreciated overall So these guys are down, taking at least those with me and there should be one or two more demonets coming up but not more. And this is obviously and honestly a case where I would absolutely enjoy a big overview map. I would have loved to put on M and instantly see yes we have to go straight which you with the little mini map there on the top can't instantly and always see. Anyhow, not going to complain there anyhow. So let's back let's get back to the city and see what we are being told. And that of course here is these are design choices I obviously um, don't really like. Um, as usual, I'm always a little picky. I think I'm not too picky with games, but now I have to walk all that way. To go to the quest giver and then go back there to start another quest that is something i really really do not like in games and is always a bad design choice for me but anyhow confirming the trait brings us up a little bit maybe we get um repetition level six um soon in one of the next episodes so let's see what the quest giver now has to see and how many experience points we get um overall send out your hunting parties clamped the forest paths are clear for now <laughs> i can't believe it what is your name friend broggy axebiter the cheerless lump of lead is witch hunter boss pay him no mind he hates everyone on general principle well we're in your debt the camp isn't much, but you're welcome here. We've a merchant, if you've got any gear to sell. There are shrines as well, if you wish to offer a prayer to the gods. 
I need to tell my people the good news. Come back to me when you're ready, and we'll talk more about the temple. And 24,150 experience points, absolutely good. That's much. Some gold crowns, gold crown, gold crown, sorry there. Item blessing unlocked. You can now place your equipment by selecting an item you want to upgrade from your inventory menu. Let's go into it and place an item. Um, select an item to place by dragging it to the center. Okay, select fragments to place your chosen item. Fragments are consumed in the process. That is, I think, quite clear. And then but honestly I don't see complete upgrades make offering and oh my goodness okay that really helped out I think all right the item has been placed oh goodness that's good I am not certain how long the Blessing is going to last, <laughs> but in the end, maybe we can do it with the um, with this item here as well. Let's select this one and put in a couple of items. So you don't see the instant upgrade here. Fair enough. Let's um, make the offering. We are now at 2070.75. And let's see what comes out. Okay, goodness, that is a huge upgrade. So you can actually put in a lot, but we can't, I think, make any more blessings. But that is good enough. Enjoy that. Nice. The only bad thing, of course, um, what you need to consider are. What I need to consider is that um, you find very, very often new weapons, which are better. Um, so it is not always worth it. But we will right now take on or go on with the main quest. My people send you their thanks, friend Braggy. If the gods are good, perhaps they'll sleep easily tonight. They'll sleep better once I've taken care of Skraling and the Harbinger. I just need to know how to get into the temple. Ah. Yes, the temple. I've been giving that some thought. You promised to aid us, Klimt. Do I need to refresh your memory? Gods, no. I didn't mean it like that. I don't know much about the temple myself. Few of us go anywhere near the ruins. But there is someone who might have the answers you seek. His name is Erlanger. Waldo Erlanger. He was a scholar of some sort before the Norse captured him. Erlanger knows more about the elven ruins than anyone else. Fair enough. Where is he? Well, that's the problem. No one's seen Erlanger in weeks. He went out into the forest on one of his expeditions and never came back. I can draw you a map of the forest and show you where Erlanger was heading. If you can find him, I'm sure he'll be able to help. Fine, let's have it then. Show me the map. All right, now we have to reach the Erlanger camp and that we will... Um, why don't we just do it every time nice to start over a new quest i'm not certain whether we have a wheel map now available um curious there so let's jump into it right after the splendid loading animation and of course we don't have any direction shown to us anyhow anyhow that will not be um, you know, taking our mood down. So it's good to see finally that our all the fragments we have collected over the time are now be or we are now able to put to good use. That is very nice to see. Okay, 
get this guy down, taking, of course, the um, portion there with me. What I need to get used to, I'm always some sort of a guy who has not problems to get used to a new play style, so to say, but in the end, it always takes me a little bit of time to adjust to certain spells, especially with, so to say, consumables. And as you have might seen in this or in the last episode, um, we had a completely loaded up bar on both sides and I did not use it. Where were we bad and I should change that instantly, instantly, instantly. So, um, Yes, we are not playing the same mission as in the last episode, guys, or which we started in the last episode. This is a completely new episode and completely new quest. It is just the same map. That is one thing I obviously do not like about this game. That basically the map design is not really good, in my opinion. But anyhow. That is not the point right now. Okay, taking that good jazz with me. We, of course, need to regenerate health very, very soon. So this guy falls as well. Never know whether these are... I think these are women, aren't they? I don't know whether they are men or women. But anyhow, that doesn't matter at all, I think. So I obviously don't want to die, but I can't use... Come on, let me hook down there, then all is good. So as you see always, the um, health drops there from the little bubbles, they help out. They can obviously save your lives instantly. But guys, that leads us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it, I really, really Thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have anything to say, whether it's positive or negative, guys, um, leave me a comment. Um, <laughs> feedback is always much appreciated. For now, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.